Chapter 5 Animating Text and Objects Chapter Connect Animation Effects Applying Animation to an Object Transition Effects Adding Transition Effects Inserting Sound Clips Inserting Video Clips Using Action Buttons Importing Data from Word MS PowerPoint 2016 provides various tools and features to enhance the appearance of a presentation. These special effects assist you in making your presentation attractive, effective, engaging and professional. The use of special effects creates a, be a better impact on the audience. In this lesson, we will learn some new features of PowerPoint 2016 that make the presentation more interesting. Animation Effects An animation is a visual effect added to the objects on a slide. including text, pictures, shapes and so on or to the slide as a whole. Adding animation to a presentation offers the following benefits. It provides visual interest to grab the audience's attention. It can reveal points on the slides in a staggered manner, one point at a time, to keep the audience focused only on the point we are discussing at the given time. The presentation can be automated so that it runs on its own. Categories of Custom Animation Entrance As the name suggests, these effects decide the slideshow. These effects make an object fade gradually into focus, fly onto the slide from an edge, bounce into view and so on. Some of these effects are Appear, Fade, wheel, zoom, etc. Emphasis These effects can be seen when the object is on the slide during the slideshow. These effects make an object shrink or grow in size, change color or spin on its center. Some of these effects are pulse, color pulse, teeter, bold flash, etc. Exit. These effects control the manner in which the object exits during the slideshow. Some of these effects are disappear, fade, wipe, bounce, etc. Motion paths. You can use these effects to make an object move up or down, left or right, or in a star or circular pattern, etc. These effects enable object to move from one position to another on a slide and on the specified path during slideshow. Some of these effects are lines, arcs, turns, loops, etc. Applying animation to an object. To apply animation to an object, following steps should be followed. Step 1. Select the object you want to animate. Step 2. Click on the Animations tab. Step 3. From the Animation group, select the desired animation. Step 4. Click on the More drop-down arrow to see more options. A drop-down menu appears with four different kinds of animation effects. Entrance, Emphasis, Exit and Motion Paths. Step 5. Select the desired animation by clicking on it.
transition effects slide transition controls how our presentation move from one slide to another slide transitions can be very useful to enhance our presentations they grab the audience attention and make a presentation visually appealing adding transitions effects transition effects appear when one slide changes to other during slide show view you can apply transition effects to a single as well as to all the slides to add transition effects following steps should be followed step 1 Select the slide on which you want to apply a transition. Step 2. Click on the Transitions tab. Transition to this slide group appears on the ribbon. Step 3. Click on the More drop-down arrow to display all the transition effects. Step 4. Click on any transition effect from displayed choices. The current slide displays a preview of the selected effect. Step 5. Select the effect options in the transition to this slide group to select an effect for the chosen transition. Step 6. Click on drop-down arrow of sound option in the timing group. Step 7. Select any sound effect of your choice. Step 8. Click on the preview button present at the extreme left on the ribbon. Observe its effect. Step 9. Specify the transition timing by entering the number of seconds or minutes in the duration box in the timing group. Step 10. Select the on mouse click checkbox if you want to advance the slide by clicking the mouse. Step 11. Click on the after checkbox if you want the slide to advance automatically to the next one. Step 12. Click on the apply to all button to apply the selected effects to all the slides. Step 13, open the slide show tab. Step 14, click on the from beginning button. The slides display from the beginning along with all the applied transition effects.
Cyber Fact If you want to remove all the animation effects, click on the object and choose None option from the animation group on the Animations tab. Inserting Sound Clips Music or sound effects can add a completely new dimension to any presentation. You can add sound in the form of music or special effects to give importance to certain points. Music or sound can be added from the files saved on your computer, internet, your own recorded sound or from some CD-ROM. Adding sound from a file Step 1. Select the slide where you want to add sound. Step 2. Select the Insert tab and click the drop-down arrow on the Sound command in Media Clips group. Choose the Sound from File option from the pop-up menu. Step 3. The Insert Sound dialog box will appear. Locate the Sound file on your computer and select the required file and click on OK. Step 4. The Microsoft Office PowerPoint dialog box displaying the message how do you want the sound to start in the slideshow will appear. Step 5. Click on automatically or when clicked button. Option will start the sound automatically as soon as the slide appears in slideshow view whereas when clicked will start the sound only when you click. Step 6. A small icon of speaker appears on the slide. Double click on the speaker icon to play the sound or go to sound tools and then click on the preview button on the options tab. Inserting your own sound To add your own sound to the text, first you have to record your own sound. It is essential to connect a microphone to your computer while recording to your own sound. Follow these steps. Step 1. Select the slide where you want to insert the recorded sound. Step 2. Click on the sound drop-down arrow in the media clips group on the insert tab. Step 3. Choose Record Sound option from the drop-down menu. Step 4. The Record Sound dialog box appears. By default, the sound will be named Recorded Sound. Step 5. Press the red button. To record and the square button to stop the recording. Step 6. When you have finished, you can use the play button to listen to the recorded sound. Step 7. Click on OK. A small speaker icon will appear on the slide. Step 8. Now select the slide show tab and click the from beginning button in the start slide show group. Step 9. During the slideshow, click on the speaker icon to listen to the recorded sound. Recording sound. To record and add your own sound to the slide, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the slide to which we want to add an audio clip of recorded sound. Step 2. Click on the insert tab. Click on the audio drop-down arrow in the media group. 
Step 3. Choose the record audio option from the drop down menu. The record sound dialog box appears. Step 4. Type a name of the audio recording and click the record button to start recording. Step 5. Click on stop button when you have to finish recording. We can use the play button to listen to the recorded sound. Step 6. Click on OK. The audio file gets inserted in the slide. Once we have inserted an audio, an audio clip icon appears on the slide. The format and playback tab appears when we click on the audio clip icon on the slide. Inserting video clips. Video clips add liveliness to the presentation. We can add video clips from the Microsoft Clip Gallery, which contains wide range of art, sound, video and related clips. Video clips can also be added from any CD-ROM. To insert the movie file, follow these steps. Step 1. Select the file where we want to insert the clip. Step 2. Select the Insert tab. Click on the video drop-down arrow in the media group. Step 3. Select the video on my PC option. The insert video dialog box appears. Step 4. Locate and select the desired video file and then click on the insert button. Step 5. The video files get added to the slide. The format and playback tabs appears under the video tools tab on the ribbon. We can format the inserted video by clicking on the format tab and selecting various formatting options from it. Step 6. Click on the play button below the video clip. The video will start playing the timeline next to the play button will begin in advance. Click anywhere on the timeline to jump to any part of the video. Using action buttons. Action buttons are built in button shapes that function much like hyperlinks. We can link them to a file, slide, web address, or email address, and so on. When someone clicks or moves the pointer over an action button, the specified action will occur. We can insert an action button on a slide by following these steps. Step 1. Click the Insert tab and select the Shapes button in the Illustrations group. Step 2. Select the desired action button from the button section of the Shapes drop-down menu. Step 3. Click on the slide at a desired place to insert the action button there. The action setting dialog box will appear. Step 4. Select the mouse click tab. Settings made in this tab will enable the action button to perform an action on the mouse click. In the action on click section, select hyperlink to, then select the drop down the action button is clicked. Select a sound from the drop down menu. Step 6. Check the play sound box if you want a sound to play when the action button is clicked. Select a sound from the drop down menu. Step 7. Click on the OK button.
Cyber fact. Action buttons do not have to be inserted on master slides. You can insert an action button on a slide if you wish. Importing data from Word. PowerPoint has the facility to import and use data from Word, Excel, etc. Importing data saves your time and effort following these steps. Step 1. Click on Start, All Programs, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office Word 2016. Click on the Outline button in Document Views, Group on View tab. Step 2. Type the text shown in the figure and click on Close Outline View button to return to normal view. Step 3. Select Types of Software and apply Heading 1 from Styles group on the Home tab. Step 4. Select Microsoft Word and choose Heading 2. Step 5. Select Microsoft Excel and apply Heading 3 from the selection. <coughs> 6. Similarly, select Corel Draw and apply Heading 3 again. Step 7. Apply Heading 1 on Corel Photo Paint and Heading 2 on Flash and Adobe Photoshop. Step 8. Click on the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. The Save As dialog box appears. Type the name Types of Software in File Name text box and click on the Save button. Now, exit from Microsoft Word. Step 9. Start Microsoft PowerPoint and open any existing presentation. Click on View tab and select on Slide Sorter button. Step 10. Now, click on the New Slide drop-down menu on Home tab. Select Slides from Outline Action. Step 11. The Insert Outline dialog box will appear. Browse the location of the word file types of software. Step 11. Select the file and click on insert. Step 13. New slides will be inserted in the presentation. View the new slides. To To sum up, an animation is a visual effect added to the slide or to a slide as a whole. Transition effects appear when one slide changes to other during slide show view. Music or sound effects can add a completely new dimension to any presentation. Video clips can be added from the Microsoft Clip Gallery which contains a wide range of art, sound and video clips. Action buttons are built in button shapes that you can add to a presentation and set to link to another slide, play a sound or perform some other action. We can import data in a presentation from other applications like MS Word, MS Excel, etc.